Well, fine. Good evening, everyone. This is Patricia and I am traveling for history. I'm in Montgomery, Vermont, and I have found us another covered bridge. Imagine that. And a state historic marker. Who knew? So let me uh, read to you what this uh, historic state historic marker has to say. And, um, and then I have more to read to you as well. Um, I wasn't expecting a state historic marker. Yay. All right, so Longley Covered Bridge. Constructed in 1863, Longley Covered Bridge is the oldest known extant covered bridge built by Sheldon and Savinard Jewett of Montgomery. Extant means it still exists. It utilizes a wooden truss system of crisscrossed diagonals connecting horizontal top and bottom cords to form a lattice design. Distributing the load equally with no vertical timbers, the lattice truss was patented in 1820 by architect slash engineer Ithiel Town. The single span bridge was closed in 2012 because it was unable to carry required vehicular loads. It was rebuilt in 2017 following the principle of design preservation using stronger town lattice trusses and all salvageable roof timbers. Also known as the Harnoy, uh, Harnois Covered Bridge. The bridge crosses the Trout River near the Longley family farm. And this sign was posted in 2021. Let's see if I can... Uh, that's, I don't know. I mean, it's getting dark now. So let me share with you the other bit I have to read to you. The uh, Longley Covered Bridge, also known as the Harnois Covered Bridge or Harnois Covered Bridge, is a wooden covered bridge that crosses the Trout River in Montgomery, Vermont on Longley Bridge Road. I know, an original name, right? Built in 1863, uh, this town lattice truss bridge is the oldest of a group of area bridges built by brothers Sheldon and um, Savinard Jewett and was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1974. When they were uh, restoring this, they, uh, they put up a um, temporary bridge, by the way. The Longley Covered Bridge is located in a rural area northwest of the village center of Montgomery on Longley Bridge Road, just west of its junction with Vermont Route 118. This road here is Route 118. It's been quite busy tonight. It crosses the Trout River in an east-west orientation, resting on abutments of stone and concrete. So it's stone and it's covered with concrete. We've seen that in a lot of, um, of these uh, covered bridges, practically all of them, actually. The bridge consists of flanking town lattice trusses, 84 and a half feet or 25.8 meters long. The bridge is 19 and a half feet or 5.9 meters wide with a roadway width, uh, roadway width of 16 feet or 4.9 meters. So it's a one lane bridge. Nearly all covered bridges in Vermont are one lane bridges. Um, I filmed one that was a two lane. I can think of off the top of my head. It was a two lane in Fairfax, Vermont. I'll put a link in the description below. The exterior is finished in vertical board siding, which extends around to the interior of the portals. That means the entrances. The siding does not extend the full height on the sides, leaving an open strip below the eaves. The bridge deck consists of wooden planking and reinforcing stringers have been added to its underside. The bridge has a roof of standing seam metal. The bridge was built in 1863 by the Jewett brothers who were credited with the construction of all of Montgomery's surviving covered bridges. It is the oldest of their surviving bridges. And uh, depending upon what you read, it's either six or seven that are surviving. The brothers operated a sawmill in Montgomery's West Hill area. They prepared the wood for the bridges at their sawmill. The brothers are credited with building seven area surviving covered bridges, distinctive in Vermont as the highest concentration of bridges in the state with a single attributed builder. A complete restoration of the bridge was conducted in 1992 by Jan Lewandowski. The bridge is, well, the bridge was, the bridge was leaning to one side and the trusses were bowed. A bowed in the middle. 
and it was closed uh, and bypassed by a temporary bridge. All right, having said that, let's do a walk through because it's one of my favorite parts when I'm filming a covered bridge. This is the Trout River. I was here a few days ago, uh, not here filming this one, but I was here a few, a few days ago in Montgomery and the Trout River was uh, not this um, um, lively, if one can call that lively. It was pretty calm. Placid. All right, so we can see there's a signage above here. Signage says, Longley, lattice type bridge built by the Jewett Brothers, 1863. All right. I replaced the batteries. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I mean, we do have sunshine on the other side. Well, sun is setting. This is the lattice truss uh, bridge. That's the bridge. Uh, lattice truss, rather. Um, Ithiel Town. Is it? It's not only, I mean, I say that regularly in my videos when I'm in this type of bridge. Um, but he, he invented it in 1820. He invented this style in 1820. This bridge was built in 1863. I mean, look at the, look at the timber width on that. Holy cow. We can see the windows at the top up there, right? Right there. It goes all the way down on both sides. Feels very sturdy. I was walking in a different covered bridge, um, and I can't remember which one, oh, West Hill, I think it was uh, West Hill, felt spongy. Nobody wants to be walking in a bridge that has spon that feels spongy under one's feet. Nope, no one wants that at all. And uh, I do wonder if that is the Longley Farm there. I don't actually know, I don't live in this area. Now, if I were more adventuresome, which I'm not, I would uh, try to uh, climb down there. But, you know, um, what's the word? No. The word is no. Not going to happen. Can you hear the sound of the water? I love that sound. Very relaxing. You can just about see the water through there, but yeah, that there, that's the water, Trout River. And on this side, it says the same thing, Longley Lattice Type Bridge, built by the Jewish Brothers, 1863. We well, can see how the vertical board siding does wrap into the uh, portals. All right, let's go walk back through here again. Uh, this, so my light is not on right now. We can see how uh, dark it is in here. Turn my light on, and it's a bit better. I was just filming at the Hopkins Covered Bridge. It's uh, down the street, maybe three quarters of a mile. And uh, it had a sign saying that Automobiles had to slow down to 10 miles per hour and uh, horses no faster than a walk. And that was by the select men. Da, 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 da. See this metal up here? Right there? Hmm. Interesting. Anyway. The stage historic sign says the same thing on both sides, in case you're wondering. Oops. Same thing, both sides. And this is the Longley Covered Bridge. And yet another example of how someone gets their name on a building, they own the farm. So they get their name on the, on the covered bridge. Actually, this is a structure. Um, so anyway, this is Patricia, and I'm traveling for history. If you like my material, please subscribe to my channel. I would love that. 308 and growing. 
That's fantastic. That is so fantastic. Really appreciate it. I'm on all the social media. You are traveling for history. One L in traveling, right? Um, except for Twitter, where I'm uh, traveling for high one, traveling for H I numeral one. I'm on TikTok too. <laughs> I like the alliteration of that. <laughs> Usually, I can amuse myself. Anyway, so. Uh, Oh, and these premiere videos I've been doing. What's so great about them? Well, live chat. When the video goes live at 5 a.m., oh gosh, I don't know about you, but I have to set my alarm. I am open to changing the time, but I've had no one comment on what would be a better time for you. So we just keep doing 5 a.m. So I keep doing 5 a.m. anyway. So anyway, but... Uh, I am on for the duration of the video, so if you want to do, if you want to chat at the same time, hey, come on board. So uh, anyway, so this is Patricia, and of course I'm traveling for history. Thanks so much for watching. You have a fabulous night. See you soon. Bye.